Alright guys, today we're going to be working on a 2022 Ford Bronco Big Bend. We're going to be taking out the grill and taking these letters out and replacing them with Oracle letters that light up when you uh, run your daytime running lights. So I'm going to show you step by step what to do. Alright, first you're going to remove one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, looks like eight, nine, unless I'm missing one. Use a uh, flathead screwdriver for the ones down here. It's just easier to get to. Also, I recommend one of these tools right here. You just scoop the bottom. Pops right out, just like that. And then I'm going to pause the video and we'll uh, show you what to do from there. Alright, once you remove all those, you just simply lift up. Just like that. You might have to fight with this air dam a little bit. If you don't want to fight with it too much, you can actually pull up and pull back our, out on it. It will release. I'm going to need two hands for this, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it and then I'll show you guys what it looks like underneath. Alright, once that's off, there should be four bolts. 10 millimeter. One, two, three, and four. If I can get in the light. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and remove those and then show you how to pull the grill off. Okay, so once those are off, you're going to want to gently come to the side and pull. And you'll see right here there's clips. Right there. Another one right there to hold it in. Same thing on this side. Once you get those out, you're going to want to pull from the bottom, kind of the top, and just pull out and slide it up. Best way I can describe it. Um, I'm going to remove it and then we're going to go from there. Alright guys, so I fiddled with this grill for a bit and found really the only way to get these off because they're like basically plastic rivets that are glued in. I took the R off. What I ended up having to do was take a drill, set it right in the middle roughly the size of the lettering and you're gonna have to come back with either a screwdriver or something sharp scrape it down a little bit knock them both out and then take one of these to the other side get underneath the lettering and pop and uh, that's pretty much how I'm gonna go about this whole thing I will show you uh, when it's done here in a second All right, so I got all the lettering off. Make sure the top sides are smooth. There's no bumps in them because what we're gonna put on is, it's basically just 3M tape. It's gonna cover back over. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean this grill. I'm gonna take alcohol wipes to it, get it really, really nice and clean, let it dry. Once I get it dry, I'm going to show you how to put the lettering on and I'm going to flip it over after that and show you how to daisy chain up the uh, all the letters and then we're going to find since this particular model doesn't have the toggle switches inside it does have the wires down here like most Fords do now but I think what we're going to do is find daytime running lights on this side so I'm gonna tap into it somehow find out where they're at and uh, 
show you guys which one to plug into. Stay tuned. All right, so to get to the daytime running light, it's kind of a pain. Uh, you're gonna have to take off a 10 millimeter right here, 10 millimeter right there. There'll be a plastic clip right there you gotta remove. At the bottom, down here, there is an eight millimeter screw. Now to get to that, your best bet is to get a flex ratchet and get in there. If you want to, you can take this off, but you're gonna have to take this off, partial, about halfway through off. Um, I did it without doing that. You reach behind here and you can unplug the light. So I believe on these it's the orange, <clears throat> orange and green. Should be this one right here, the very end one. I'm going to test it real fast to see if it is. If it is, I'm going to tap into that one. Uh, stay tuned, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I took my little tester light. Put it in this top one right here. And when the engine was going, or the key was turned on, that's your daytime running light right there. So I'm gonna tap into it. It is an orange and green wire. I'm gonna tap into it, run a wire over here, and then show you guys what to do after that. Okay, so this is gonna be a little tricky, but let me see if I can get it in focus right there. So it's on the green and orange. And you're gonna take some kind of wire. Get it to focus. Hook it in there to this thing. Flip it over, clamp it down, and then run, you know, hide your wire wherever you want to hide it. And uh, we're gonna run it up here somewhere to the top so I can just zip tie it in so it looks like it's stock and everything's hidden. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so I preemptively wired this up. I put it to a ground real quick. It just went off just because the daytime running lights went off. I have it just wired up right here real fast to back here. So it runs right here. I'll open the door real fast and show you guys. Or actually, I'll shut it and open it again. That should kick it on. There we go. Lights on. That's what it'll look like. So hard part's out of the way. I gotta put the light back together. Remove that. I gotta go and put all the lettering on the grill. I'm gonna daisy chain them. See how it went off? I'll daisy chain them and uh, hook it back up. I'm debating what ground I'm gonna put it on. I'm not sure where I wanna, I want a good solid ground somewhere. I'll find that out later. Anyway, uh, stay tuned. All right, so we got the grill cleaned off. Like I said before, there's 3M tape. All you do is, uh, you know, peel it, match it up perfectly with uh, the pattern on the grill. It this kit does come with uh, a piece of paper that you put over here to to match up the holes, but you you don't need it. It's uh, pretty much worthless. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel these, stick them on. Flip it over and I'll show you um, how to daisy chain these all together. Okay. So I took some 3M tape, skinny tape, and just kind of put all the wires in place, hit them so you can't see them from the front. Took a little bit of um, glue from a hot glue gun too, and just kind of you know, put them in spots to hold these in place. 
I basically started at the B and uh, daisy chain the wires, the power, and then on top the negative. So when you flip it over, it should, it's upside down right now, but it should be pretty clean. I got that one I gotta fix right there, that red wire. But other than that, you can't see anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on. I marked my power. Just put a little P on it. And my ground. So I'm gonna put it up there, plug the power in. Actually first find the ground, then plug the power in, and then turn the vehicle on for you guys to see. All right, stay tuned. All right, we got the car put back together. I should say the Bronco put back together. Uh, door's gonna open real fast. There you go. They're hooked to the daylight. So as soon as these lights go back off, the letter should go off with it, just like that. All right, thank you guys.